Hi guys and welcome back to the House of Lineage. My name is Marie and if you don't already know I'm standing in for Chantel. Chantel had hoped to be back by now but unfortunately she's unable to but she will explain um, when she does arrive but mum is the words for now. Anyway today I was going to upload um, a video about an easter egg that's what I wanted to talk about a homemade one a paper mache one a very large one but of course I was in the middle of making this video when you get interrupted don't you life gets in the way the doorbell arrived and along comes postman pass with my latest package a garden cart now you're probably wondering what has a garden cart got to do with Easter eggs? Well, it has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with it. It's just a random thing I want to talk about. Um, I have a large garden, obviously. Um, it'll fit everything in when I transport it uh, across my lawn. But that's not the reason why I actually got the garden cart. It was so I could transport all my camping gear at festivals. I love a music festival, all of them. Isle of Wight, Glastonbury, Ireland, you name it, I go to them, I love them. But my favourite one is a local one called Hardwick Live. It doesn't have a lot of high-end bands like a Glastonbury or the Isle of Wight, but it, 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 it does all right. We had James one year, Rag and Bone Man last year, we've even had a Spice Girl. We have uh, local groups like Cattle and Cane. I, I just love Hardwick Live. I don't know why I like Hardwick Live um, better than all the others. Maybe it's the company, although I have great friends through all my festivals. I don't know why. I just love it. Maybe it's closer to home. I don't know. Maybe it's the food, over expensive, but I don't know what it is. Um, anyway, maybe that's for another video because Hardwick Live is on in August. And I'm going to take a video and I am going to upload it to show you what it's all about because guys it's a really 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 good weekend uh, for the price so anyway the garden card came today <laughs> and I wasn't going to open it I was going to carry on with this Easter egg because I wanted to get it out to show you guys um, um you know I've got to think of ideas Chantal chuck some my way um but Easter, I, I do love Easter and I do love a large Easter egg and I thought I'd make this Easter egg for the kids and you know it would be a great thing to show you especially for your mums out there with small children but like I said today we are going to talk about the garden cart and the garden cart is actually behind me because my um my craft room my sewing I have a sewing room I sew I also crochet I make things uh, for my own business and I'd, I'd lumped up the garden cart over a couple of flights of stairs um, to put into my sewing room out of the way to open it later. And I found out that the camera angle, as normal in this house, wasn't going to fit in it. So I thought I'd give you a brief introduction on why I'm still here, uh, twittering on, and then I shall introduce you to the garden cart. Um, so anyway, I hope you're keeping well, guys. It's been a while. Um, I'd say Happy New Year, but we are into March by now. Um, I have a few other little videos I've thought of that you might like, especially for Easter. Oh, I do love Easter. I really do. Um, anyway, I have a couple of shops I want to show you. And I also want to show you a few antique shops. I love antique shops. I love going around them. Um, so there we go. Anyway, I'm going. And I'm going to try and explain about this cart as I go along. Um, anyway, see you later, guys. Hi, guys. It's me again. So I've had to bring the cart down the stairs because where I wanted it um, just wasn't working out. The angle wasn't fitting. I, I basically had to crouch on all fours to get me into the video. Not that I need to be in the video, but in this particular one, I need to be. So here is the cart. Um, it's upside down with the leg parts facing and we came in this box it came in this box a beautiful nice little box and obviously once the wheels i didn't realize the wheels weren't going to be on it and um, i don't know why it just never crossed my mind um but obviously once the wheels go on it it's not going to go back into this box 
Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to put the wheels on now to show you, but I think I'll take them off uh, because I, I, I only use this for festivals. I won't be using it for any other time. Um, so anyway, it needs two years to put this together. This is the downside. If we go over to this foot here, it's the front foot. I've actually, these things obviously swivel. I've actually brought these in a bit to see if I could do it myself. Um, <laughs> I've got the funniest feeling I shouldn't have done that, guys. Um, but anyway, normally they come a lot wider path like that. The wheel goes in, then you've got a bolt. The bolt goes through there, through the wheel, out the other side, out through the other side of the wheel. And then what happens? You put the washer on. Then you put the nut on. Um, obviously, it takes two. This is too hard for me to do on my own. I am not able to do that on my own. So I'm going to take the wheel off and I'm going to show you. So we have the wheel. Then the bolt goes through the black part, through the wheel, through the other leg. Um, I know you're not daft, guys. I know you can do this. It's a simple process. It does come with instructions, a instruction leaflet. Um, very easy, very easy to understand for those of you like me that needs a bit more instruction. Um, then we put this bit on there and then we put the nut on. Now the nut itself, I've realized, is the nut, um, it's the big enough for the screw, but I do feel as though I'm going to have some trouble when I put these on. Um, you're going to need some type of spanner. The husband will help me um, because it's going to take it's going to take two of us. And after that, you've got this clip. This clip is for the handle. The handle moves up and down, and you have two screws in the clip to put this up. So if I go over here, you have this handle that you pull the trolley along with and the clip goes according to this it goes onto the bridge you clip that on and you clip the screws on i won't know until it's actually up where it's going to look like but this like i said this whole thing is constantina this whole thing's constantina's down which i will show you once again when it's all done and this is the bag this is the cap that goes inside that's going to carry all my stuff do you know I'm quite happy with this, guys? This is going to get my wee tent in. I have I have a two-man tent, but it's, it's not a large one, but it's also not really a small one. It's enough for me, my sleeping bags. I like two sleeping bags because I'm greedy. And my suitcase, I have a medium-sized suitcase. Um, I have a couple of buckets because obviously you've got to use the showers on site. It comes with Velcro. The Velcro attaches over it and that attaches on and i think i don't even have i don't even sleep on an air bed at the festivals I, that's why i have proper um sleeping bags the, the arctic sleeping bags so you, you're meant to be able to go up to say mount everest in them they'll keep you warm unlike me today is absolutely freezing if you wonder why i've got a load of jumpers on uh, that's simply because this is short sleeved um, and i'm in a house here that's absolutely baltic simply because there's been some type of burst pipe where i live and the whole area there's no water not a drop so obviously no water means no central heating um, and we rely on that although in my craft room which was the idea of the egg i do have an oil-based radiator to put on when it's extra cold so yeah i'm really looking forward to this guys i mean honestly my friends that we'll share we'll share we'll do a trip we'll do a trip each they'll need a couple of trips i think because they bring the works but um yeah yeah i think i'll get everything in there nicely because obviously you've got the bars my case and then i've got that bit yeah so anyway i'm going to get back to you when it's all done and see if i can faff about it came from ebay if you're all wondering i got this off ebay i'll see if I, the seller's still available i'll put the link below and um, please subscribe if you haven't already thumbs up thumbs down um, and notification bells on for our next video i'm 
and it was the price you're all wondering about the price so am i let me have a think yeah it was 30 well 36 36 99 and with postage and package it came up the postage packaging was 3.99 it came up to about 41 pound and i think this is a real steal a real steal i tend to only buy from uk sellers it's when I want something like this, it's the time it comes and it's a, a big item. I didn't want to go to miss in the post. Not that anything ever has gone to miss in the post, but obviously we have a lot of Chinese exports here. Um, in fact, with most of our stuff, I'd say he is made um, in China. It was a Chinese seller. It was a Chinese seller, um, but he was based in England and it came in two days. I only ordered this two days ago, guys and the chap in question was his communication skills were really good i wanted a red one but the chap i ordered off only had them in blue that's what i thought obviously they must have different things on ebay where they sell different colors normally it's in the listings which color drop down box but they only had the blue and left available so that's where i ordered i ordered the blue uh, within the hour i got an email asking me if i would prefer the red because they didn't have the blue anymore they would refund the money if that was a problem obviously it wasn't a problem because i wanted a red i'm a red girl as you can see by my hair uh, it's actually my favorite color so there we go so um, i've made a mess of my house now but not to worry that's what it's all about um yeah so i'm going to put this together I'm going to go for five minutes. I'm going to put it together. Uh, the husband's due in about 10 minutes for his lunch. And then I'll show you what it's like up and running um, and fully working. See you later, guys. Guys, I'm back again. Um, it's up. It's done. I did it myself. <laughs> I did want to wait the husband come in. Us women, eh? Um... It took a bit to figure out. I mean, not, not a great deal. I've been working at it maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops. The hardest bits was obviously the legs and um, trying to squeeze them together myself. But I did squeeze the bars together a bit. Um, it was the only way I was going to do it on my own. The wheels went in fine. I was worried about the nuts. They seemed a little bit tight uh, for the bolts. Um, so I used... Now, I used one of those, and obviously it's down to the 13mm, and I used a ratchet piece, um, also 13mm. Um, I got the trusty screwdriver for the two little screws that went into this case in here. This handle pulls up, and the screws go in there and that pulls up. What took the longest to do was this um, red box, this red case. Very easy, it's on a uh, Velcro. You pop it in, you put it down, it flips over the ends. But the instructions, I know you might think it's easy, but the instructions don't exactly say how it goes in. I got a bit confused because of the handles that it has handles on. This side it has uh, like some type of Velcro strap. I don't understand why that's there. It doesn't tell you why it's there. It doesn't attach to anything on the cart itself. So I have no idea. So I presumed um, this, this whole hole threaded over here through the loop down and in. It didn't. Um, I. I made the mistake of thinking this went across this bar. It didn't. It goes into the bottom bars. That doesn't, this here doesn't thread anywhere. It just, it just drops down when this handle drops to the floor like so. And that just goes in on its own accord. It's got nothing to do with this handle. It, it, it took a while. How secure is it going to be? It's meant to be waterproof, although there's no top with it, so you wouldn't be able to leave your stuff in it overnight unless you have a huge tarpaulin. Um, if it's raining today, I doubt very much. Um, if you're looking still at my uh, garden, don't bother yourselves. It's an absolute tip. The boardwalk that came down that I told you about in Storm Island is still not up because the weather's just been uh, bad here. We've already had another major storm after that. 
and it's it's just pointless till the ground hardens up a bit to get the concrete in i'm not going to bother now maybe next weekend if the weather's a bit fine i'll do a tidy up job because it all has to come down uh, to be rebuilt but yeah this this um well it works what you've got to worry about is when you do the nuts at first i did screw the nuts on too tight i've had to release them um just thread by thread to get it exact i worry i worry how what it can take what what it's worth ethic is so to speak because dragging it across the fields and car parks because you have to you're packing fields at festivals all that lumpiness i i don't know whether it'll take i've seen them drag them uh, last year they all had them I, I just don't know guys i don't know how it's gonna hold up but i had to have one i really did it 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 wasn't a case of well i might need one it was a case of i really 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 did need one so that's it it hooks over here and um, it goes lovely I, I'm, I'm quite impressed by it a bit, you know for what it is 36 quid 37 quid you can't really go wrong can you guys the only thing that concerns me is it should i mean i don't know how many people actually read these instructions on ebay that it tells you about uh, what actually comes with what's in the package um I, it doesn't i don't know whether it tells you it didn't come dismantled i didn't read that um i didn't need to read that it was never going to be a problem for me but for someone that's sent away for it maybe a younger person that hasn't got the tools of the trade uh, like the dewalt drill or any drill come to that or the the bits and bobs that you need i mean really they're going to be in stumpy because they're going to have to go out they're going to have to take a part with them to find out uh, which end goes and i think some of maybe the younger ones especially the girls are, are going to struggle are, are going to struggle not putting it together yeah to struggle putting it together i looked it up in the end i'll be honest to see how this thing to see how it went with which way it went it was just confusing me um but yeah they're going to struggle obviously because they're going to have to buy these things and if i went out and actually bought one of these even though i know exactly what i'm looking for i would still struggle with the mill because um i just i just would i just would i don't use it in me everyday life so to speak one of these so i'd have to take the nut with me because i've only got in my mind's eye what i want to do obviously we have a lot of tools in this house both me and my husband um me more than my husband a diy we practically built this house ourselves the inside of it it was completely renovated it took a lot to do so we did uh, accumulate a lot of tools <laughs> not that i know what most of them are for fortunately i can handle myself a drill um, so that's it guys it's been really good talking to you again um i will hopefully get that egg out uh this week and i just thought i'd also let you know then and i don't know why i'm telling you this but my 20 year old son he's nearly 20 is at me all the time i believe the batman movie the new batman movie with robert patterson is out this week and that comes into uk cinemas on friday um okay guys i'll see you later then <laughs> bye till the next one